The city of Los Angeles has over 45 miles of heavily industrialized shoreline that has been protected by fireboats since the purchase of Fireboat One in 1919. Boat Two, which was eventually named the Ralph J. Scott, entered service in 1925. The big boat was delivered with a pumping capacity of 13,500 gallons per minute that could be used to supply any combination of the five deluge sets or the hose lines connected to the discharge manifold. Big Bertha, the largest of the guns, can discharge over 10,500 gallons per minute through a four and a half inch tip. In an era of abundant manpower, standee nozzles anchored to the gunnel provided an effective way to attack pier fires. The boats were disguised during World War II by painting them gray and remained in this color for many years after the war. New Station 80 was opened in 1956 to protect the rapidly growing Los Angeles International Airport. Mines Field, as LAX was originally called, had been protected by a 1918 Seagrave. The National Board of Fire Underwriters represented companies that insured buildings and their contents, and their rating system was designed to promote quick extinguishment and protection from water damage. The 15 salvage companies that covered the city were a major reason for LAFD's Class I rating. Each carried 50 waterproof coverings, a water vacuum, generator, smoke ejector, lights, sawdust, mops, and squeegees. Utility 27 provided electrical power, portable lights, and most importantly to the firemen, hot coffee. Oil fires were common in Los Angeles, and before the adoption of liquid agents, the fomite companies got plenty of exercise making foam from powder and water. EMS was provided by eight rescue squads, who responded to electrocutions, drownings, and other respiratory emergencies with their inhalator. Although in later years, EMS runs would far exceed fire calls, in 1960, LAFD actually added salvage equipment to the rescue squads in a desperate attempt to get enough points to maintain the NBFU Class I rating. 